This is an Arizona's Family News Update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Tess Raffles. Here's a look at the latest stories we're following from the Arizona's Family Newsroom. Well, we told you earlier this week how three American firefighters died after a plane crash in Australia. And now we know one of them was from Arizona, right here in the valley. First officer Paul Clyde Hudson was 42 years old and lived in Buckeye. The plane crashed while fighting the fires in New South Wales in the southern part of the country. Aviation crews say the crew was on a firebombing mission when the plane went down. Governor Doug Ducey has ordered flags across the state to be lowered to have staff in remembrance. Phoenix fire crews fighting a second alarm fire earlier this morning. This happened at a storage yard near 7th Street and Broadway. That storage yard has multiple buildings along with cars, boats and RVs. Crews eventually got the flames out and no one was hurt. Investigators are trying to figure out how the fire started. The town of Gilbert is considering cutting back on its paratransit service. People with disabilities depend on it to get to work, the store or doctor's appointments. If the cutback passes, paratransit could only be used if you live at least three quarters of a mile from a bus stop, which is the minimum federal requirement. I know of many, many, easily hundreds of people between those different, those different work centers who use this service to get to work. And this, this replacement that they're offering is not equivalent or fair to people with disabilities. Or safe. The next public meeting set for February 11th. The town council will vote on the issue March 3rd. GIF, I'm meteorologist Kim Quintero. We have got a gorgeous day ahead of us in the Valley of the Sun. At 9 a.m., we'll be at about 53 degrees. You'll still need a jacket. By noon, we're sitting out in the sunshine having lunch, maybe with a temperature of 67 degrees. And by 4 o'clock, we'll see an increase in clouds. Otherwise, the forecast high today, 72 degrees. Uh, tonight, we dipped to a low of 47. Saturday and Sunday, room temperature weather. The forecast high, 73 degrees. Uh, both days with sunny to mostly sunny skies. And you know what? We like this weather so much. Let's just keep it around for the next seven days. All right, we'll take that. Thank you very much, Kimmy. For updates on more stories we're following, you can download our app and subscribe to our YouTube and Roku channels. I'm Tess Raffles. Have a great day and a great weekend.